it's funny. It, it, there there's, has been a lot of discussion about this. You know, when you present uh, a film with a, a strong formal approach, you will have obviously um, strong reactions. People has been sometimes reacting against it or obviously accepted passionately. I think, you know, my only intention was not to, to flash or to impress anybody. I, I, I really always thought that the, the, the subtlety of the way we did it, it was basically my intention. Maybe I fail. But for me, my intention was that nobody should notice this, that nobody should say, oh, my God. I, I just wanted that the people can got caught in the, in the, in the emotional journey of this guy three days before opening a show where everything was falling apart without any, with a, in a restless kind of uh, 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 journey. And, and I thought that without cuts, I will not distract people by the, this kind of conventional juxtaposition of spaces and places and time, but just to live in that conscious that is talking to him all the time. So, I always want this to be a storytelling, you know, device, something that was subordinated to that and not the technicality of it, you know what I mean? So anyway, I feel people sometimes felt in a way, you know, affected by it in a bad way, but the intention is just a narrative tool, you know? Thank you so much. We're and it was brilliant. 110 and then we'll go to 71. Hi, Ignacio, right here in the back. Hey, over here. How you doing? Uh, my question is, you know, two years in a row, a Mexican director is winning, you know, uh, last year with Gravity, now you. So I was wondering what does it say about the Mexicans, director Latin America? And now that you won, how did you really feel when you lost back in 2000, 2007? How are you? <laughs> no, I, I think here when you arrive to a, a nomination here, there's no way to lose. I always feel that. I, I, I feel that once you are, in a way, selective uh, as a film, competing with great filmmakers, great cinema, you know, it's hard to feel defeated. That's what I try to convey there, you know. The competition is something that our system of belief has implanted on all of us. And the society today and the kids now are so obsessed by competition because in order for them to feel good or feel somebody, they have to defeat somebody else. And that's absolutely horrifying. I hate competition. That's the worst and the best. I will say the bad side of all this is that somebody has to be defeated. I would love that this will be just a show of the best film selected, and that's it. So I never has feel defeated. I think once I finish a film, I feel a successful filmmaker to be able to be, you know, to be lucky enough to finish a film. That's that thing is much more than the awards that can receive or the critics that can read. It's something that exists already, so that's how I feel. We're going to 71, and then I am very sorry, but we do have to let them go, so we'll end it with 258. Simon Bowie, CBS News. What's the moment, none of us know what it's like, what's the moment when you're in the edit room where you're watching dailies where you say, this is something special. This could be a film that is remembered forever. We could put an Oscar for this. And also, was the casting of Michael Keaton coincidental because the parallels between Keaton's Batman and, you know, Keaton's Birdman in this? Well, you know, um, we all were in the room, in the editing room, and, and honestly, this film was a challenge uh, because, in a way, I was fascinated by the scene itself, but not having the opportunity to see it, you know, complete until the next scene or the last scene Without the context, it was very difficult in this scene to really understand w what this thing will come. Uh, I mean, what will come about this film. So this film was particularly scary to be making. You know, it's very difficult. Sometimes, and that's what Birdman is about. So as an artist, some day or two hours, you feel like the greatest, and you say, this is amazing, this is fantastic. And then two hours later, you feel like a dead jellyfish and an idiot. You feel like, like it's completely the feed guy. And you don't know what you did, what you did, and you fail, and you question. So all that vulnerability that I'm sure that all of you now, when you write things and you said, I should have said that, or I should have wrote that, all those things are part of our nature, our doubt, that abyss that exists in our own nature. And that's part of what challenges us to be better. And, 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 and anyway, in this case, I was Regan Thompson seeing the material, saying, oh my God, I'm gonna, it's going to be a disaster. 
Uh, so I couldn't really tell until the end. I really felt that it was really special for me. I will never imagine that this film will be uh, something that will be touching so many people around the world and I will be here. Never uh, at all, you know. And then our last question. Right. Uh, Alejandro, por aquí. Hi. <laughs> So you mentioned during your speech uh, something about Mexico, of course, about immigration and everything, and then you mentioned now the influence of like Latino, Latin American writers in the script. But obviously the movie is just like a movie with like uh, Anglo characters and everything. In those terms, it's kind of similar to the tendency that Cuaron is having. It's for you like a relief to be able to just tell stories that are not necessarily completely related to Latinos, but at the same time being able to just do a speech like that and then talk about the issues that are like concerning a lot of people? No, no, it's all good. Uh, well, look at this room. I don't know how many nationalities are in this room, but I don't feel different to anybody of you here. You know, it can be from any continent, from any language. I don't care. I feel very related to any of you. So I, as an artist, as a human, as a filmmaker, I, I cannot have these stupid borders flags and passports. Those are concepts that were invented by human society, but honestly, naked in tidy whities will be the same. <laughs> and uh, and I, I, I have never felt that different. So for me, to make films in the United States or in Africa or in Spain or in Mexico, I'm talking about human beings and emotions. And, 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 and I think I, that's the beauty of art. Art doesn't have those uh, 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 stiff, uh, ideological borders that fuck the world so much, you know.